Hey everybody, I know this is real quick, but I don't even know what to say. Yes, yes. another haul. I know it ain't even been weeks. That's what I'm saying. What are they trying to do to me? So, as you know, Matt released the um the D squared collection early. It was supposed to come out next month, but it came out. <laughs> Wow. Excuse me. I'm not gonna even edit that out. But I only got three things from the actual D Squirt collection. I got the other two grease sticks and the feline. It didn't come out with a whole whole lot this collection, but it was I guess the grease sticks were different and they had two lipsticks. The pink one was really pretty. I might get that one, but I want a back to Mac for that one. Because I got some empty stuff around here I need to go. Might as well get it for free if I'm going to get it. The other one, I didn't like it so much. It was um, like blood red or something. And it just looked, it ain't nothing special. Especially not against my skin tone. But what I have on my eyes now, I play in a little bit, is... The green stick in B, I guess that stands for blue, and it's pretty. It reminds me of um blue green pigment. If you have that one, the color of it kind of reminds me of that. And I got V, which probably stands for violet. I was thinking I should start it underneath there. It is pretty. I don't know if you can really see it. Let's see. Look at that purple. Beautiful. So I got both of those. I wasn't going to get the blue one, but I was like, let me play with it. So I played with it in the store. And like I said, justifiable for buying. And I got Infamous Feline. I didn't get this last time it came out because... I have Buku black eyeliners, and I was like, okay, it's another black eyeliner. What's so special? But it's supposed to be, like, super black, according to them. I hadn't put it on yet. Like, let me see. It's probably not blacker than that Stila, the liquid one I got from them, because that black. Nope. See? So you'll still beat them in blackness. But the other one is really creamy. So I guess if you want to smoke it out, it'll probably work real good for that. So that is it from the D Scar collection I get that I got. Uh, unless I go back and get that lipstick. But I was still pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna do a little different, some extra stuff on the haul this time. I got with the lush. And I love Lush. I have a lot of their stuff. And they came out with a new mask. It's called Odi Fix. Or Odi Fix. Or you read it. I don't know. But it's supposed to be moisturizing and all that good stuff. I've used um, my other favorite one. is like Crash Course and Skincare or something. And I love it. But they marked their mask down to only five. That is loud. To five ninety five. So if you want to try it, it went down on the prices and just looks like that. But it smells like banana nut bread. This is probably the best smelling one I've ever seen. A smell, not seen. And I got a bath bomb. It was one of them days. Retail therapy. I'm have a nice glass of wine in the big blue bomb. I forget what it's called, but gonna be a nice relaxing bath so i picked that up from lush and i'm gonna do a different haul i know like i said most of the time i just show my makeup but i'm gonna show everything i got today then i rolled by ross and they had these little lip glosses by sally hansen i brought one of these before i brought i think this purple one right here and it is gorgeous on so they had the whole set and it was 2 dollars and you got five glosses so if you see these glosses, pick them up. They're real. They feel good. You get good color payoff and everything. So definitely worth a try. And I got this 
little mineral kit from NYC at Ross, and it was two ninety nine. And it just has some loose colors. So I was like, maybe I could play with it. It's two dollars. What's the worst that could happen? And my favorite purchase that I probably got is these bad ass Jessica Simpson heels. I love heels. I do. I don't like how they feel that much. You know, I can only wear them for a short amount of times. But look at these. Y'all got a big foot. Probably could have used the eight and a half, but I wanted that extra room just in case. But these are Jessica Simpson, and I got them for $18. They were on clearance. I guess the compared to price was $69. So I can't wait to wear these. These are cute. And I stopped by Forever 21. Now, I only buy stuff on clearance. Y'all might notice that. Makeup is really the only thing I spend full price on. Everything else, jewelry, shirts, pants, most of it, clearance. Hair. Most of the time you can't find hair on clearance, but they get military discounts. So I got this maxi dress. Let's see if you can kind of see. It's just a little black, you know, super long. Six dollars. Can't beat that. So I was like, this is going to be hot. Put that on, maybe put a little jacket over it or something. Six dollars, can't beat it. Then I got this little thing here to wear under. I had this lace dress. So I was like, I need something to wear under it because just wearing bra and panties, I don't know if that the boyfriend would be feeling it. I think it look hot, but I don't think he'll be feeling it that much. And then I got this little top here that I'm just going to wear with jeans. And this was $8. So it's regular 17. So can't complain about that. And then Walgreens had this little face thing, the Merlot. I have the full size of the day one, but this is the nighttime and it got real good reviews, but I didn't want to spend $20 just to try it. So they got these for $2 now. So I tried that and I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it because the other one is really, really nice. And then in the mail, I got this, um, I don't even know how to say that. So however you want to say it, Mario Badushku, maybe that's it. They sent me, um, I did this an online questionnaire and they sent me like this package full of all these samples. I was like, look at that. But it's like all kind of samples that they sent for their um, skincare and washes and lotions, eye creams and all that. So, might have to get him a try. Now, for what I have on today, just in case anybody cares, I have on the the B grease stick. I put some of the um, brown script in the crease, like over it, just to soften it up. On my lips, Brave New Bronze from Style Warriors with Mad Cap over it, the lip gloss Mad Cap. Which I'm loving. Like I said, I can't. I need to remember that girl name who um even got me on this because I love it. And what else I have on blush? I brought the um sweetest cocoa from the CCO. So I tried that today. I don't know if you could really really see it. It's, I didn't put it on too too heavy, but it's pretty. I don't know it. It doesn't look like format like I thought it was. I thought it would be really close to it, but it has a different color. So, liking that. So, that is my little short haul because I can't stay out the mall. But today was one of them days I really needed some retail therapy. So, I just made up a reason to go to the mall. And then, with D-Square coming out, that made it pretty easy to go. So, hopefully, these are swatches from D-Square. If you want to interested at all about those and that is it contest entries i am loving i am definitely loving it you ladies are the snitch that is it because i'm loving them and what else we got i did a foundation video i may put that up it's kind of long it's like 10 minutes i was like wow i got too many foundations i can't even talk fast about them and what else I think that is it. I'm just rambling now. But check out the new MAC collection. Like I said, it's small, but it's kind of nice. I kind of like that. I thought these little grease sticks 
They're pretty good. It hadn't creased yet. It's only been on for a few hours and it hadn't really creased. And the new mascara is nice too. So check all that out and keep watching the videos. I'll probably come with something new since I'll be off for the next four days. All right. Bye, y'all.